I had a hemorrhagic stroke, and they say that 1% of the people that have a hemorrhagic stroke live. My whole problem is that there's a disconnection somewhere. It's painful. We've been very fortunate to work with our veterans. The main objective of this study is to evaluate efficacy of transcranial direct current stimulation paired with gait therapy for individuals in chronic stages after stroke. Transcranial direct current stimulation, also known as TDCS, is a non-invasive brain stimulation that we're using in this study. Electrodes are placed on his head and he gets on the treadmill. The treatment happens in the virtual reality setting. We're able to focus our training on a specific portion of a gait cycle. The scenery is set so he's walking on the trail in the countryside and he has obstacles along the healthy side. So what we're making him do is to spend longer on the stroke affected side while they're stepping over objects with their healthy foot. The treadmill where I have to step over things, I couldn't do that before, I was afraid to. But the last session, I never tripped over a barrier. We're assessing brain activity during walking. The expectation is that we'll be able to understand structural changes in the brain that lead to better recovery. My gait's improved, I walk faster, my balance is better, I fish a lot, I cut firewood, and I can walk in the woods now without a walking stick. It's first step in getting this treatment into a clinical space, but it's a very important one.